Hello, uh, my name is Trinami Organjolo and welcome to Chichi Talks. And currently we are at Canada uh, Education Summit and I'm with Gabriella. Yeah, welcome Gabriella. Thank you very much. My name is Gabriella Puccini. I'm the manager of business development for Sheridan. Sheridan is a polytechnic public, a polytechnic in Canada. <clears throat> the polytechnic, yeah, the polytechnics in Canada are kind of like a hybrid with the university and community college. So we offer honors bachelor's degrees, and we offer short-term diplomas as well as graduate certificates for people who already have the university degree. And uh, we specialize in the areas of uh, engineering, uh, business, uh, we have architecture, we also offer uh, programs in health sciences, computer studies, uh, and art and design. We have over 35 honors bachelor degrees, more than some universities in Canada, uh, and we offer as well uh, uh, about 140 different credentials and programs. Uh, available for students. Students can study and work. While they're studying, they can work up to 20 hours per week. And students that graduate shared and qualify for postgraduate work permits. So if they study a minimum of two years and they graduate, they can have a three-year postgraduate work permit after they graduate to stay in Canada working. And most of our programs have some kind of work integrated learning, which means students graduate with their accreditation, but also with work experience in their area. And that's what really open stores again. So, uh, you know, there are new regulations about the students uh, Uh, for a short period of time, I think so, yes. Uh, students now need a, a provincial letter of attestation in addition to a letter of acceptance. So provinces are working on getting the systems ready for the letters of attestation. Some provinces are, are what ready. What would be the duration then? Uh, waiting period? Well, the government has to be ready by March 31st. So, you know, we're already in the middle of March, so in a couple of weeks it should be resolved. And uh, all the institutions will have their allocations and will be able to issue the letters of attestations. For Turkey, I don't anticipate any problems, really, because it's not a huge market uh, of international students. Uh, and so I anticipate that the number of Turkish students will increase for Canada and uh, that it will be fairly easy after March 31st for students Thank you very much. to be able to study. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you.